Hollywood producer Carol Baum finds Sidney Sweeney's hoopla to be unfounded. During a screening of her 1988 picture Dead Ringers, Baum remarked, There's an actress that everybody loves now, Sidney Sweeney, according to the Daily Mail. Sidney Sweeney is beyond me. I wanted to watch Sidney Sweeney's movie, so I was viewing it on the plane. I was curious about her identity and the reason behind the buzz surrounding her. Baum was alluding to Sweeney, 26, and Glenn Powell's romantic comedy, Anyone But You, which takes its cues from Much Ado About Nothing by William Shakespeare. In addition, Sweeney produced the movie, which Baum found to be unwatchable. I asked my students to explain this girl to me. She lacks beauty and acting skills. How come she's so hot? Baum recalled a conversation she had with her students at the School of Cinematic Arts at the University of Southern California. Well, if you could get your movie made because she was in it, would you do it? Was posed to those who had no response. She went on, that's a really excellent question, and it's a very difficult thing to answer because everyone wants to see the movie made, and who turns down a green light? No one that I am aware of. Making the movie is what you have to do. Baum, whose producing accomplishments include Buffy the Vampire Slayer, 1992, and Father of the Bride, 1991, is hardly the only well-known Hollywood person who has voiced opposition to anyone but you, December 2023. Geraldine Vishwanathan, an actress, stated that she would like to see a wider range of people cast in romantic comedies. In an interview with The Independent in March, Vishwanathan, 28, stated, I definitely have an appetite for rom-coms, and, you know, an appetite for watching people who don't necessarily look like Sidney Sweeney and Glenn Powell falling in love. I just want to see more diversity in these stories, so I want to revamp that. Vishwanathan said she's here for the rom-com resurgence, but she wishes there will be more opportunities for people of color to appear in films. She told the site, I do think it's a bit more unusual to see a woman of color in that role from the outside looking in. I recently completed watching One Day, a Netflix miniseries. Thus, I say, go off. Even though anyone but you had its detractors, the movie took in $200 million at the global box office. In January, Sweeney posted on her Instagram story, You guys are the best, upon discovering the film's box office results. I know I say this a lot, but I sincerely can't express how grateful I am that you keep spreading your enthusiasm for this movie.